video edition of Aptor's Alley, or should I say, Aloha. Anyway, wrestling fans, as you know, recently I asked you to send in your, uh, uh, your opinions on what you would do if you won a McMillion. If you won that million dollars that Vince McMahon is, uh, uh, is telling everybody he's going to uh, give away. I don't have the funds that Vince McMahon has, so I can't give you a million dollars, but I certainly can read some of your uh, great feedback. This is part one. We'll have another uh, set of your, um, your replies next week. So let's start off from, I'm reading right from your emails. This one comes from Spud. Thanks for writing, Spud. He says, Dear Mr. After, I would not buy a promotion. I wouldn't feed money into an inferior promotion. I also wouldn't spend it on myself or my friends. What I would do is I would donate it to The Rock. He says, I would donate it to him, to his kids, to his nieces, to his nephews, or his favorite charity, the University of Miami, anything, just for him to come back and save wrestling. One million dollars to drop The Rock is Dead campaign and save us from anyone who has ever tried to step in his shoes. And that's from Spud. It's a good one, Spud. This one comes from uh, Mike V. Mike V says, uh, with a McMillian, I would hire some writers who could, A, make a charismatic tag team division and rid the world of Cody Rhodes, Bob, Mr. Charisma, Holly, Paul London, and Brian Kendrick. B, I would book John Morrison as a top heel. There aren't many in the WWE who have his athletic ability. I'd kill for a Morrison-Hardy feud for the title. I don't know if I'd go that far, but Morrison-Hardy for the title, that'd be really good. And C, get rid of Edge and his cronies. At first, the Vicky Guerrero, Hawkins, and Ryder storyline was fun, but it's getting old fast. He's the WWF's top talent and should be given the worst storyline. All right, let's move on now to Scott Oatman from Eagle River, Wisconsin. Scott says, I live in a small town in northern Wisconsin and there's an abandoned discount store uh, a few blocks from where I live. Uh, I've been talking to a friend of mine over the last few years about buying the building, then buying a wrestling ring to put it in the building. I like that. And possibly starting our own small promotion. I like that too. If I had enough money left over, I would buy all the guys that we'd sign up for their first set of wrestling gear. That's fantastic. You know, get, you want to start a wrestling promotion and have guys come in. And guy, that's, that's perfect. All right, this next one I read before, uh, not on the air here, but to myself. Uh, this is from Peter, and you know who you are, Peter. And uh, I'll read all feedback here on OneWrestling.com. Peter says, with $1 million, which I could only spend on related to the wrestling business, I would purchase OneWrestling.com and then fire Bill Apter. He put that in bold, by the way. Next, I would hire Dave Shearer, Wade Keller, Dave Meltzer, Buck Woodward, and have them work for me on the greatest wrestling website ever created, WWE.com. That's right. You see, I would purchase WWE.com and have all those great wrestling journalists work for my WWE.com. With the money left over, I would purchase the worthless TNA wrestling. I could probably buy it for about $1,000 and then have all the talent merge with WWE and then I would have another brand, expansion, uh, brand extension TV show calling it WWE Impact. Very original. That's right. Raw, SmackDown, ECW, and WWE Impact. Last but not least, and get this, fans, I would have a special attraction wrestling match to headline WrestleMania. Bill Apter, me, versus Vince McMahon. Him. The loser must quit the wrestling business. Well, you know something? That match, if it happened, McMahon has got the abs, I've got the flab, so I think I could beat him. You ever seen my figure four leg lock? Hey, listen, any feedback is always greatly appreciated. More of you, what I do with the McMillions, next week after One Wrestling at Yahoo.com is the place to write all your feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you, you too, Peter, 
at the matches.